the pitch in excellent order for two footballing teams trying to put on a show here in the sunshine but for Manchester United there's much more than entertaining at stake it's results that matter in the run-in now and uh, they know that whatever they do if Aston Villa win their remaining games they will be champions but it hasn't been that sort of season there's been so much ebb and flow in all the uh, top positions and indeed down at the bottom as well wants to take it and really you felt that Giggs would have had the better chance Ince had to wrap his right foot around the ball but Ryan Giggs was facing everything and had a better chance of picking a spot then it's been a freewheeling first 15 minutes at Old Trafford here's Ince now Giggs. Well, Sharp having problems in the sunshine initially. The problem that he solved. Cantona, oh, it's just too long. Lee Sharp, who gets a good percentage of accurate crosses in from his uh, sector of the pitch. This is Sheridan, suddenly there are four up for Sheffield Wednesday, and one of them is Waddle. Pass Parker over Schmeichel and knocked away from the head of Jensen by Irwin. And that really summed the match so far up, a little cameo of it. Here's Waddle. Wilson. That was taken from him by Ince. And now there's room for Manchester United. With Giggs. With Cantona. With players filling the centre. And with Woods catching it so cleanly, the cross was deflected. Possibly that helped the goalkeeper, it just brought it within his reach and his grasp, which was so sure. There was the little nick. And there was the expert handling. Parker now Ince Giggs oh, that's a great touch by Cantona for Giggs and a splendid tackle by Viv Anderson when Giggs was away in one of those weaving runs really did take some stopping and Anderson came up with an exceptional tackle great touch by Cantona minutes left in the first half Manchester United nil Sheffield Wednesday nil Parker now Ince he's trying to make an angle Giggs does Sheridan sliding in Watson's got to try and hold it up here and he can't Irwin Cantona for McClare and Woods reaches it Hughes tries to follow up and reach it for United. It's a corner, a double save by Woods. They're starting to make the England goalkeeper work again. A full lunge to stop McClare. This is Nigel Jensen for Sheffield Wednesday. It's a good try. Trying to fire it across Schmeichel. He made the save look very nonchalant. Hughes, Nielsen just doing enough. There have been a number of those type of interventions from Sheffield Wednesday. Sheridan bossing the centre circle. And right on the left is Worthington. Watson going to the near post. Good run by Worthington. He cut it back this time. It's over Schmeichel. And it was Sheridan trying to guide it down for Jemson. 
Nervous moments for Manchester United. Waddle confronts them. And it's nothing more than a clearance from Sharp. And the crowd wanted a forward ball of more precision. Parker. Here's Hughes. Parker lofting it. Flag up against Cantona. Well, of course, a number of these Sheffield Wednesday players were at the club when they were managed by the predecessor of Trevor Francis, Ron Atkinson. So there'll be one or two loyalties towards Aston Villa in these circumstances and putting on a good show to help Villa against Manchester United here. Whatever the motives, Sheffield Wednesday have held Manchester United and their powerful attack in the first half and made one or two openings of their own at half-time at Old Trafford. Plenty to ponder on for Manchester United fans. It's United nil, Sheffield Wednesday nil. Looking quick enough or what? Sheffield Wednesday have stood the test so far. Manchester United, who play away at Coventry on Monday, Chelsea here next weekend, then United go away to Crystal Palace, one more home game after that against Blackburn, and it all finishes for Alec Ferguson and his players away to Wimbledon, the great party spoilers on the last weekend of the season. That's the second weekend of May. Hit forward by Palmer. And Roland Nilsson. <laughs> he saw Hughes coming and wisely got out of the way. But this is King, and suddenly there are four up for Wednesday. Jemson. And Owen opts for the safest course of action. And Trevor Francis decides this is a good time to make a change. And he's going to bring Mark Bright on, <laughs> whose goal against Sheffield United in extra time at Wembley last Saturday settled the semi-final of the FA Cup. Sheffield Wednesday's way. And towards Watson at the near post, who tried to... Just help the ball creep in then. But this is Ince for Manchester United. Can they get it right this time? With Ryan Giggs. It was a fantastic block by Carlton Palmer. Heroics of the highest order. He was flinging himself. In fact, I think the ball flew at his head rather than his body. Whatever it was, he got in the way. It was enough. It's a corner, though. And a corner that Wednesday coped with with a fair amount of ease. That's Sheridan. Super ball for Bright. And now Waddle. And Manchester United suddenly have to look to their own laurels defensively. Worthington is up quickly. Bright trying to get free at the near post. Oh, and it just came over Wilson. But it seems harder for Sheffield Wednesday to surge back on this uh, surprisingly warm afternoon. McClare, who's got two to his right, Cantona and Sharp. Sharp for Cantona. And Woods has been around a bit too long to be caught out by a little chip like that. However well intended. And reluctantly, Danny Wilson takes his leave to be replaced by a player who is 15 years younger than him, Chris Bart-Williams. And more treatment required. And this is already a replacement referee, Mike Peck. And 
He's going to have to go off. And the whistle is passed to John Hilditch. Well, a critical match at a critical stage. And the first decision for John Hilditch is to give a corner to Manchester United. Another important intervention by Palmer. this lead to the opening United are aching for Hughes sharp it's Bart Williams knocking it away Alec Ferguson will have to preach the value of patience now Irwin trying to loft it over the back of Anderson a player coming across Anderson's been in those type of situations so many times knew exactly what was required And Sheffield Wednesday still standing their ground. Nice layoff by Watson to Bright. In tandem again, King and Worthington. They haven't played too often together this season because King's missed a lot of the season with a bad knee injury. Waddle, penalty! And John Hilditch has given a penalty for Sheffield Wednesday for a trip on Chris Waddle by Paul Ince, the linesman who's been a referee for a couple of minutes and had no doubts, and a sensational incident here. It's a penalty for Sheffield Wednesday, earned by Chris Waddle, given by John Hilditch, conceded by Paul Ince, and John Sheridan, who knocked Manchester United so hard when his goal beat them at Wembley in the final of the League Cup two years ago steps up here and scores for Sheffield Wednesday Sheridan the man from Manchester and when he's not playing professionally still follows Manchester United as his club has given them and untold Sheridan grief here it's Manchester United nil Sheffield Wednesday one I can't believe it. There's some tears in the eyes there. That's what it means to Manchester United, but it's not all over yet. Brian Robson is sent for in place of Paul Parker. Well, Alec Ferguson needs his players to dig very deep. It's the appetite to become champions that's been called into question here. The going has certainly got tough. Out by Anderson. Some shouting by Alec Ferguson, way back from the touchline. Robson, Cantona. Palmer, it's Owen, he's got a terrific shot on him. And uh, it wasn't a bad effort in the circumstances. As King came out, the shot was on target, but Woods in the right place yet again. Watson. Cantona able to turn, Wednesday backing off him, McClare trying to get into some space, Cantona, Giggs coming in, three to his right for Manchester United, out by Anderson, kept in well by Waddle, one back by Robson, five minutes left on the watch, plus one would suspect, maybe three minutes Extra, Hughes, still Hughes, and Woods has kept it out again. And this time he's uh, angry with the way that Hughes was allowed to get through and get that shot in, and it looked for a moment as though it was going to beat the goalkeeper. But Chris Woods has defied all the odds so far this afternoon. That's Bruce. Oh, it's in. 
Woods couldn't do it that time. And Steve Bruce has come up trumps for Manchester United. Bruce got his header absolutely right. And it's United 1, Wednesday 1. A superb header at such a strategic time. And have Manchester United got it in them to find another goal here. Wednesday were beginning to rely more and more on the excellence of their goalkeeper whose save produced a corner the save from Hughes but then the header from Bruce and Hughes again well they're happier now everything is relative Diggs trying to retrieve it from Waddle Nielsen Watson, Bart Williams offside. Robson getting the game going instantly for Manchester United. Ince. And still. He's fell by Viv Anderson, who is going to get booked for it. In fact, the referee could have possibly allowed Manchester United to go on. But Ince was like a greyhound out of the trap then. We're in the 90th minute. It's 1-1. Robson takes it. Bruce going in again. And it's a corner. And Carlton Palmer once more in the right place at the right time for Sheffield Wednesday. He's poised again, but it's uh, Pallister who gets his head to it. Wood starts to come. Pallister, and that's up and over. And that's a goal kick, no doubt about that. Bruce. Hughes coming deep to collect. Sharp. Manchester United want players in the middle. Cantona. Hughes, still Hughes! Oh, and Woods not only stopped it, he held it. McClare was right there, should there have been any fumble. And Manchester United, right to the very last here, are trying to win a game that they looked midway through the second half as though they might well lose. Ince. Here's Giggs. He's actually space to take on Nielsen. Oh, and it could have been an own goal by Viv Anderson who doesn't turn a hair and gets ready to defend the corner. Giggs takes it. That's Cantona going in with Bruce. Giggs again. And Pallister stretching his legs and crossing came off Worthington. Bruce, yes! Yes for Manchester United! And Alex Ferguson can't contain himself and that's totally understandable it's been a phenomenal finish in the seventh minute of time added on and Steve Bruce stands aloft here at Old Trafford Quite amazing ending. And Bruce saw where he had to power the header and he placed it perfectly. Well, they put a new roof on the Stretford end and the crowd's noise very nearly lifted it back to the builder's yard. Tough on Sheffield Wednesday who've contributed so much, but absolutely marvellous for Manchester United. And here's Giggs, no offside. It's over, Cantona. And the game is over. Top priority achieved by Manchester United here, but only just can they ever have won a game in such dramatic circumstances. And Steve Bruce is the hero of Old Trafford with two headers.
the brighter side of life for Manchester United. You can say that again. Manchester United 2, Sheffield Wednesday 1.